Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Papa Meerkat, and we're playing Portal Knights. All right, I gotta change that. Uh... Oh, that's bright. Let's turn down the, the volume a bit. Uh... Still sounds a little loud. Let's go about halfway. Yep, yep, everything looks good. I've never played this on the PC, so hopefully I can learn it pretty well. Alright. Yep, yeah, and uh, I was going to play a little bit more uh, Card Life, but I gave up on that for a little while. It's still a little too buggy at the moment. I am not satisfied with that volume. There we go. All right, guys. Enough with the uh, menus. All right. Let's say create a new character. All right. Welcome back. Select your character. All right. So we're gonna go with male. Let's see here. The warrior wields swords and axes to defeat their enemies in melee combat. The warrior can also use mighty shouts to strengthen teammates and weaken foes. Primary attributes. Constitution increases health points and strength increases melee damage. Ranger. The ranger uses a bow to defeat enemies from afar. They can also lob bombs to destroy blocks and foes alike. Primary attributes. Agility increases movement speed and dexterity increases range damage. Mage. The mage uses magic wands and stabs to defeat their enemies and has access to a variety of power powerful spells. Primary attributes. Wisdom. Increases mana points and intelligence increases spell damage. Kind of partial to the old ranger there. Yeah, we'll, I think we're going to stick with ranger. Alright, let's look around here. Looks like a Dragon Ball Z character. Trunks. <laughs> there you go. That's like very plain. That's just nothing. <laughs> See, in real or in real life, I do have hair, so probably stick with hair. But what hair do I want? That doesn't really fit my style. It's all ladies' hairs. That's crazy hair. We could just stick with the default. I do have a a beard right now in real life. Not like that though. There we go. <laughs> what color do I want here? I do have kind of like a, uh, a reddish hair in real life, so might stick with that. Let's see what this looks like. It's not that red, though. It's like a mix with uh, between brown and orange. There we go. I think we'll stick with this one. Oh, yeah. I gotta do the rest of it, right? Oh, the ears just get bigger and bigger, don't they? <laughs> uh, we'll stick with the default. Uh, let's see here. Eye shape. That one kind of fits the, the mustache and beard, or the goatee. But I don't have this... Facial hair, I just got just straight up just facial hair in real life. But I'm not trying to really build myself. There we go, we'll just stick with that. I 
I got blue eyes in real life. There we go. Can't really see the mouth too much. That's like a smug, like, hey, I'm overconfident. <laughs> that one is too. That one's just evil. <laughs> there you go. Uh oh. I don't wear lipstick. <laughs> just stick with that one right there. Can I? Yeah, I can go back. Let's see. What's this? Oh, voice. I guess that'll work. Randomize, I'm guessing that's what that is. Character name. Of course, we're going to stick with Meerkat. There we go. I am Papa Meerkat after all, right? Alright. Bam, level 1 Ranger. Meerkat. Play with this character. I don't want to do creative mode. Large for hardcore players or explorers requires a powerful system used at your own risk. More exploration, increased system requirements, basic system requirements. We'll just stick with medium, right? I guess that sounds okay. I think my computer can handle large, but I'll probably just stick with medium just to keep things normal. Alright, so let's stick with this. There we go. New universe. I don't want creative mode. What? Back. I want adventure. There we go. For some reason, it's like, nope, you're going to get creative mode no matter what. There we go. Medium. Yes, yes. Create. There we go. There we go. Welcome to Portal Knights, ladies and gentlemen. In the forgotten days, the world was peaceful and whole, but the fracture arrived and tore the real the realm apart. Now the only connection between dis desperate lands are the ancient portals. And they are guarded by covetous fiends who thrive in the darkness. The world awaits heroes who will restore light to the portals and reunite the peaceful realm. Let's hope I can play this on PC. Before the fracture, the great oceans were roamed by pirates. What they do now without ships is hard to say. Squires and all, level one. All right. Move around. WASD, of course. Space bar to jump, even though that doesn't really look like a space bar. Look around by moving the mouse. How do I go into first person view? I know that's a thing. F to read. Squires and all, landing pad. No lying down on the job. If you fall in combat, we shall bring you here to the landing pad so you may carry on the fight. So basically, this is your, these right here in worlds are the waypoints pretty much. They allow you to warp back at this location. Can I inventory? How do I even open up inventory? E? Okay, E. I'll put this here. Put that there. Alright, what do we got? A task complete. Well, this is neat, huh? On the PS4, I played this for a little while. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't go all the way, so I don't know everything in the game. But uh, these are the boss pads. What is that floating stuff? Well, there's like bits floating way outside. So every one of these is bosses. These are worlds, and they're random. 
kind of random, I guess. Well, okay, so each one of these have a letter associated with them. So if you push M, I can go to map, N for crafting, B to go to my inventory. There's my character. He has no shoes on, apparently. You can have pets. Vanity items. These do not give you any bonuses. They just show in your character. These actually give you bonuses. This is where you level up. You got your traits. And I'll be sticking with dexterity, agility, and maybe some constitution for health. Talents allows you to have special abilities. And you get a pretty good amount of them, too. Alright, well. This seems a bit zoomed out. I just don't know how to zoom in. I got a bow. It's probably weak. You can fire pretty quickly. Seems quicker than on the uh, PlayStation 4. And the only reason why I have it on PlayStation 4 is because I got it for free. Last month they had a PlayStation Plus for free. So I, I got it. I want to try it out. I just don't know how to go into first person view. Which I like playing. Oh, okay. So shift allows you to dodge. Dodge roll, which is actually very handy later on. Alright, we're learning. We are learning. And there's our starting house. You don't have to stay at this house. It's just basically a tutorial house. Alright. I can just hold down the shift and it just keeps on rolling. I'm a rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> Uh, I was looking forward to playing this game. I can tell you it was less buggier than uh, Card Life. And I don't like... I, I, I do like Card Life a lot. I was hoping it would be fixed more. By the time, you know, I started it back up. But apparently not. They did update it before I started playing it. Uh, doing my Let's Play on it again. But they just added... A rating system for houses and whatnot and that's pretty much it they didn't really fix any of the bugs that was already per uh, existing before well this game looks really good on here plays pretty smooth too on the ps4 it still needs a little bit of optimization but it works just fine it's just a little bit slower All right, how do I disengage lock Oh, here we go. First person view and non person. I just don't know how to switch targets. Tap. Come on. Give me a target. Thank you. I know there should be a way to disengage lock. I just don't know how to do it. But I think the lock on system in this game is similar to that of uh, Legend, Legend, Legends of Zelda. Nintendo, uh, Nintendo 64 started that. Oh. Wow, Parrot, you hurt a lot. Alright. This is just a training pad. Try out your attacks. Can I not just disengage target? There we go. <clears throat> and yes, you is this basically a crafting survival story driven RPG best I can hey too far what are you talking about All right first person view yeah there we go what you can't stay in first person view oh well on the ps4 you can stay in this view all the time of course the uh, bottom bar has a uh, numbers associated with them of course makes sense for a computer game all right we uh the orange symbol around a character like that means that they have a quest for you hey you got a quest for me no oh yeah you do what what was that i, I wouldn't go down to the tower basement if i were you not even for the treasure that's down there Oops, me and my big mouth. I guess. Are you nuts? I'm in charge of the tower, and even I won't go down there. Well, you don't even look like you even have any weapons. 
What are you talking about, boy? You gotta have weapons to fight, right? Unless you're expecting to punch them. Alright, our first dungeon explore exploration here. It seems like the, the game is a little bit... What, I keep hitting E. I'd rather stay in first person view, but I guess I'll get that choice and I'm just standing there. Well, like I said, I gotta get used to the, how this game controls. Oh. So basically, it's a little different than the console edition because you use a controller. I bet this one does probably support a controller. I'm using mouse and keyboard. And, uh,. You, when you roll, it depends on where you're, which key you're uh, clicked on at the moment. Like forward, roll you forward, roll forward, backwards. D and A allows you to go side to side. First person view, you get to stay in first person view until you lock onto a target, which is automatic. Ooh, chest. And I always, just like any building game, always keep blocks on me at all times so I can build my way out. There we go. Don't allow me to get out. No. No, man. There we go. Let me just get on out. Alright, what do you say? Treasure ring. Keep out. If you're still alive when you read this, take the treasure. You earned it. Well, it wasn't that difficult. And my bow is about to break. Nice. That was another game that was similar to this. I think that's where they got the idea from. But the developer kind of took the money and ran. It was called uh, Cube World. And I was looking forward to that game, but I never bought it. I was waiting around. And yeah, they just took the money and ran and disappeared. But this right here. Oh. Let's go into my inventory. Let's. Return to the pad. Okay, yeah, you could go back to the pad if you're underground. All right, inventory. Let's put some of these things away. I don't need water. I'll keep berries on me. These are your portal shards. These are very important. These allow you to activate portals. Keep blocks down there. I like keeping an empty hand so I can break things. Why am I breaking the cage? Because these, some of these cage have animals in them or cages have animals in them and you that's your pet you can get a pet from that a freebie it doesn't do anything it's just there it doesn't like attack or anything there we go hey you just have a pet just that follows you everywhere you go no nope, I keep pushing E in this game E is your inventory and not activation of items and on the PS4, I used to break these block, uh, these chests because you get stone for them. And stone is useful for a lot of uh, several things, like uh, repair tools, and you can use it for making tools. And that was a mistake I made because if you leave the world and come back, these chests will restock and close back up, so you can refarm them again. So I would recommend do not destroy the chests, even though it's tempting to get the free stone from them. But you can find stone anywhere. These uh, barrels and boxes like this, crates and whatnot, they will give you uh, blocks. So if I break this, you'll see it gives me random blocks. Not very many either, so. But you can use those blocks for decoration or building. Not really making anything out of them, though. Not that I know of. Like tools and whatnot. Later on, I will probably repair this tower. Make this into a storage room or whatnot. I want to try to repair the house. All right. Adventure at your own risk. High uh, vantage points will get, uh, allow you to survey an entire island. Okay. Yeah, I think this is okay. It's not extremely large. On the PS4, I picked up the large world, and it these uh, floating islands were huge. They had like dungeons and stuff all over them, but. As a let's play thing, I'm just going to keep it at like a normal. I don't want too small, but I don't want too large either. Take like two, three episodes to finish one island. 
You got some collecting berries. Berries are useful for uh, food, of course. And they, uh, food heals you, plus potions, so... Man, this house is just covered. The slimes. But uh, what I've noticed in this game is the uh, shape and the way the island looks. The aesthetic of the island, like these trees will always spawn like on this planet, uh, this island. So the, the land will always look the same. But the, the way the voxels or the blocks will spawn will be different. So the island doesn't look the same as in shape. That's where the randomness comes in. Alright. Collecting those portal things and leveling up. I haven't played this in a while on the PS4. I was playing it for a little bit. Made it about halfway. And then I stopped because I wanted to put it on my channel. Alright, go to empty hand. Oh, Robert. What's up? The house darn near fell apart after the last storm. Could you fix her up for me? I'd do it for it, uh, for it weren't for my, uh, er, bad back. Uh-huh, lies. Lies! Phew, for a minute I thought I was going to have to do some work. If you'd place some refined wood blocks onto the house, that'll be a good enough start. I guess, man. These are cotton. These are extra blocks. So it's probably a good idea to break all these crates open. You get some free wood to start building the house. It doesn't give you a lot though. Alright. Boom. Let's put that with the seeds. It's wheat seeds, berry seeds, concrete blocks. My bow is halfway. And I made a mistake on the PS4 edition that I made a crafting bench, which was a mistake because this is your crafting bench and this is part of your quest is to repair this. And I made one instead. You can't repair these though. Furniture, broken furniture. So it's okay to destroy these. Just don't destroy that. Well, I don't think you can, to be honest, but... Don't waste wood to making uh, make another workbench, which I did. All right, let's repair this puppy. It costs four wood logs. Okay. Return to the landing pad. I don't know why. It get, I guess this part of the story will like take you back. Okay, I need to go get some wooden logs, which requires me to beat on a tree for a while. Oh yeah, beat on that tree. Bam. You get sap, you get uh, the seeds, or saplings, or whatever you may call them. And certain trees and plants in this game will only grow on the world they came from. They're very specific, you can't just take a seed from another world and plant it here. Because the ground is different. Oh, mailbox. Nothing in the mailbox. No. Sometimes the developers will send you a gift in this. Alright, upgrade. Broken workbench crafting requirements. This is a broken workbench. What are you talking about? I don't want to craft that. Get additional recipes. Crafting requires broken workbench. It is a broken workbench. What are you talking about? There we go. Wouldn't allow me to do it. Alright, so it's uh, Old Squire's Farm. Craft a scout tunic at the workbench. Place five refined wood blocks to begin rebuilding the Old Squire Farm. Open the treasure chest. Open the map by pressing M and return to the landing pad. If you say so. There. Quest complete. Even though it was kind of useless, I was already on the surface. But hey, what ifs? Craft a scout, scout tunic, got the workbench. Sorry if I sound really stuffed up. I've been off and on sick lately. It's this weather we're having. We get like a warm day, and then it's a rainy day, and then a really cold day. Like, what is going on? What's going on with the world these days? Oh, come on. 
Come on, can I not beat this bush? I can't beat this bush. I can beat this tree, though. A Sino? What is a Sino? Alright, crafting. What do we got? We got armor. Alright, so Squire's set. Or the Scout set. What was that? That was a crazy sound I just heard. Probably picked it up on the microphone, too. We've had some cats lately that's been living underneath our house and they've been fighting every so often. My right, scout tunic requires two cloth, cotton cloth. <clears throat> I'm trying to talk here, but it doesn't seem like I, my mind is like, nope. So these are for the warrior, these are for the ranger, and these are for mage. Okay, so I need some cloth. I keep pushing E. I'm going to have to get used to not pushing E because literally every game uses E as the activate door or chest button. I think I'll collect up some of this cotton. Yeah, the first episode is just going to be mainly staying on the first island, not really moving out from here. Explaining things and exploring this little bit of world we got. Maybe doing some level ups. Well, we can probably activate said portal, which is over there. Every world has one or several of these. And these are your portals that lead to the next world. But being the beginning episode, this is going to be where are we going to be. It's just on this first area. You got to be careful at night time. When I finish this portal, it's going to allow certain enemies to pop up in my world at night. They're like skeletons that uh, are a lot more powerful than the slimes that you see around here or even the uh, parrots. First, I'm going to go down this mine. I think there's another chest down here. I'm going to try to finish this game in this Let's Play. Make a series of it. Hopefully. Not unless something comes up. I don't don't think I got gave up on card life if you're one of the ones that was following my card life let's play I'm gonna let that game stew a little bit and hopefully the developers are still working on it and later on it'll be hopefully more playable you yeah, in mushrooms and stuff give you food items as well you break these you get food items and keep pushing I for inventory but every game's like that though Alright, so you can eat these for a little bit of health regeneration. These are seeds. Even though mushrooms don't have seeds, they have spores. But eh, who's to judge, right? Collecting all this cotton. Because I need to make my first set of armor. Well, let's go down here. Oh, what is up with my bow? Oh, I need a pickaxe, don't I? Can I break this? Yeah, I can break it with my fists. Just think how much that would hurt. Punching a piece of stone. Now it's probably a good idea to uh, keep the stone you're collecting right here. Because stone is very useful for building all kinds of stuff. Let's see if I go to crafting. You get stone pickaxe, which I do need. Bam. Ooh, I got an achievement. Oh yeah. And these sharpening tools right here, they takes two stone each. These allow you to repair your tools. Which I need some more stone, but since I got the... Uh, pickaxe now I can do that sorry I'm still trying to get used to the controls here yeah it's just a matter of time be I'll be used to it there we go now go ahead and collect all this stone and sometimes the uh, uh, mining will give you uh, a little extra money or some exp So it's always a good idea to mine. Just got to be careful that you have to remember that you're on floating islands. That if you dig a little too far, you can fall out of the bottom of the world. Since the fracture in this game, what they call the fracture, which is the, the entire world was just like broken up into little pieces, and that's why you go to island to island. I'm not going to mine all this. I'm going to do some of it off camera. All the busy, busy bee work off camera like farming exp or mining and stuff like that but i'll get some of this so i can show you guys the repair tools all right so crafting 
repair tool, sharpening stone. I want to do about five of them. Or whatever number I pick. Alright, so I'm going to set this here with the berries. And I'm going to set the berries here. Move my dirt over. There we go. Now, I can use eat uh, eight, the key eight number key to eat the, uh, the berries. I got uh, potions on three and sharpening tool on four. So if I hit the key, uh, four key, it'll repair my tools. See, now I got a fully repaired bow and pickaxe, but these, uh, the uh, uh, sharpening stones upgrade too. These, this, when you get like a level three bow or level four bow, these are not going to repair very much on this. So the, this works really well for these. But you have to get the better versions of the repair stones or shopping stones to repair the better tools later on. It's like a progression. Can I not pick it? Okay. Alright, let's open this. Or I hit the E key again. Because I can never learn, apparently. And the chest gives you some stone and some money. And don't break the chest because it ain't worth it. You get like two to three stone out of this chest. Keep it because when you leave and come back, you can refarm it again. Well, it can on the PS4. So don't take my word for it until I can test it on here. Because on PS4 it does work. Want to be a miner, do you? Already completed it. First things first. You gotta make yourself a stone pickaxe. For that, you'll need to harvest some wood from trees and some stone. After that, it's easy. Just whack away at anything rock or metal to get yourself a block of stone or ore. That's about everything I can uh, that I learned at mining school. Well, it's not very much. Quest complete. Boom. Mine's stone block. Yep, done it. Now I need to make some of that cloth. Uh, not just cloth. Yes, yeah, what it's called. I was about to say cloth fiber. It's like, what is, how does that even make sense? Cloth is fiber. And I can, like, attack. And if the enemies get too close, I can go blam backwards. Or forward. Or side to side. I gotta get used to how to play it, though, without a controller. Okay. Yeah, this wooden bow is very cheap. Breaks pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. We just hit level 2. Welcome to level 2. Where you do a little bit more damage and you got a little bit more health. Alright, let's turn in some points real quick. Alright, what do we got? We got three attribute points. So I'm going to do is dexterity, agility, dex for more damage. Okay, task complete. Distribute uh, skill points in the character menu screen, and and don't be afraid to use uh, to pick one of these. You could change it at any time when you when you unlock this. Basically, one of these, the entire bar is unlocked. Therefore, so if you want to switch to this one or this one later on, you can. So. I'm going to stick with bows, because that's what I'm using. But you can switch to any, see how I can switch to any of these pro uh, proficiencies. But since I'm using bows, I can stay there. So one point in the talents tree, you click on one item here. Look, if I click on this, this entire tree is open, or this whole line. So you, you could you could choose anything, anything you want in that, that line. Alright. Oh yeah, we got to make that scout stuff. I'm sounding like nervous for some reason, maybe because I'm playing a new game. Alright. Let's craft up some There's blocks here. We go cotton. It takes three to make one of these. Wow. You could stack them up and get a few in there. Oh, I'm out now. Well, wow, I took a, a big chunk. Alright, Scott Tunic is what it wants for us to build it first. Boom. Quest complete all right so oh where to go do I not have armor or did it automatically equip it to me no I have nothing here 
game. Oh, I left it in there, didn't I? <laughs> uh, wow. Where's my head at right now? My head is not non-existent. All right, armor 20, health 20. More than one famous battle turned on the bravery of a bravery of a lonely soul scout. All right. Now, do I have enough to build the other parts? At least one more part. There we go. We got two more. And get me a pair of boots. I need the boots. Can I build a gauntlets? Yes. Can I build a scout? Oh, I had enough. Awesome. So yeah, every time you build an item, you gotta make sure to p pick it up out of here. Alright, 10. Scout cap, armor 10. Mechanic, 1% chance to restore 9 durability when inflicting damage. Well, that's kind of cool. So only so when I inflict damage to an enemy, I gain a little bit of my durability back on my item or my weapon. It was not unheard of for a king's archer to disguise themselves as a scout so they could travel freely. Okay, neat. Alright, plus 5 armor, health 10. An army without its scouts is blind. True. Now see, I'm still barefoot. 15 armor between missions. Scouts keep in shape running t tower stairs. Well, they have to. They're, they are a bow. They use bows so they step, uh, stay up inside towers and castles. And shoot from the ramparts. What are you doing, bro? Bro. Right, let's get these out of here. Okay. I like having empty hands so I can break things. Yeah, later on you can use tools for this stuff, but it saves on my durability if I just use my fists to beat up on the grass and bushes. It doesn't take very long either, so. And you can plant all these seeds later on, like if at the back of this house over here, there's already a garden set up here. All this right here is wheat. Wheat's useful for making like this thatched uh, roof and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant some of the cotton seeds. That's wheat. Uh, that's cotton. Cotton's very useful for making, of course, the uh, the fiber. Why do you keep hitting E, man? Do I ever learn? Mouse, you're in the way. What should I name the mouse? Call him, uh, Dexter. Or... We used to have a pet rat. We can call him Ashens, which is a name we had for our pet rat. He sadly passed away. It's been a couple of years now. We might call him Ashens. He is gray. All right. This bush is still unbreakable. That's the Invincy bush. I do not know why. All right. Well, I'm kind of running out of time on this episode. This is just pretty much an introductory episode saying, hey, this is car. I'm about to say card life. I've got too used to saying card life and playing card life. On Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I gotta get used to this game. And I have played a little bit of this on the PS4. Like I have stated previously. And I enjoyed it. So I wanted to put it on uh, my channel. So hopefully a bail on the Meerkat Nation will enjoy it as well. Ah. Alright ladies and gents. For the Meerkat Nation. I'm going to end it right here. Next episode, we're going to go and finish that mission over there. And probably repair the house. Get some more materials, of course. And build the portal. I do have plenty of the portals. i got 25 blue portal stones. I think it takes 24 for a full stack of 6 full stones. So, don't quote me on that, though. Alright, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you... Uh, 
come along this awesome journey with Papa Meerkat into the realms of Portal Knight. And if you like the uh, content, please subscribe and support my channel so I could do more awesome content like this. And uh, if you like my commentary, find it funny, helpful, or entertaining, hit that like button to show you support. And if you didn't, still hit that like button because I'm still learning here. I'm still a greenhorn when it comes to YouTube. Alright, well. Oh yeah, and don't forget that notification bell to become part of the Meerkat Nation Notification Squad. If you hit that, you'll be always notified of all these awesome adventures so you don't miss a thing. Alright, well. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.